Welcome to Sylvang. Please like, subscribe, comment down below, and ring the bell to watch more of our content. Thank you! If you missed last week's video, we talk about everything renting an RV. Last week we picked up the RV in Phoenix and drove over to Carlsbad State Beach. If you haven't watched, click the link above. Welcome to the Flying Flags <laughs> RV Resort. This is about, I'm gonna say, about 20 minutes north of Santa Barbara, California. It's a beautiful RV resort. I'm gonna show you around it, but it has not only showers, pools, restaurants. It's a beautiful place. You can fit small RV, little RVs, big RVs. They actually have little tents, little cabins. And we're gonna show you the shower. So, we are at the RV, the flying RV, um, we are going to take a shower today. Why we're not doing it in the RV? Just because this is a little bit more comfortable, spacious, hot water, so like, there's three big showers, we're lucky that we're here by ourselves right now, and we'll let you know how it goes. Alright guys, showering in RV, or at least this RV, <laughs> beautiful, almost like a five star hotel highly recommend this resort is gorgeous can't wait to show you the whole place so Coco just left a little present uh, and that is frown upon they actually find you a hundred dollars if they find your dog leaving little kids but uh, this resort is actually very very well organized not only do they have all the RV spots they have themed areas the themed areas at the Flying Flags RV Resort are so cool to rent for your trip. This area here looks like it's right out of an Africa and you can rent a jupe or tiki tent to give you a little luxury to camping with a nice bed and access to the bathroom and shower facility. There is no AC or heating available so make sure you rent one in good weather. If you want a little upgraded luxury, make sure you rent one of the safari tents with electricity, AC, cable TV and mini fridge to have all of the luxuries in the African area. Airstream Alley is full of retro vintage trailers with modern interiors. Each one offers AC, cable TV, mini fridge, and microwave. These come with your own yard with fire pit to make s'mores. Cabins and village cottages are cozy cabins with full-size refrigerators and AC. They have fully equipped kitchens and separate bathrooms, which makes them ideal if you want all the amenities. The campground here offers numerous things to do like swimming with two pools and spas located on the site. There is bocce courts to play with the family and a playground and splash zone for all small children and a fenced-in dog park for the furry family members you bring along. There is also a restaurant and convenience store with restrooms and dump stations. So the electrical connects automatically to a box and they have a switch here that turns the electricity on and off so we'll turn it off and we're going to disconnect it. And that's it. There's no more electricity provided by the resort and we'll have to put that in here. The resort provides water, so you have unlimited use of water. You just gotta disconnect it and put it away. And then the biggest fear is the sewer line. Ugh, how about gloves? And now it's time to head over to the beautiful town of Salt Bank, California. It's approximately 20 minutes from the RV park. Yeah. 
This town was so magical it felt like we went back in time. So Ving, the Danish capital of America, has many things you can do. There are many wine tasting rooms, Danish bakeries, and other European treats around this cute little town. It looks so good. <laughs> And absolutely, we indulged in the most amazing Danish pastries you can imagine. And we're gonna go to an all year Christmas market because some of us miss Christmas. The Yulhus, a year long Christmas store in Solvang. With its gingerbread style architecture and its warm, inviting decor, it's impossible to resist a visit to this local gem. Inside the store, there are many European ornaments, figurines, and holiday decor in every corner of the Yulhus. Besides from the many Christmas decor, there are authentic German wood nutcrackers and smokers. This festive store is open from 9am to 5.30pm, Monday through Saturday, and 10am to 5pm on Sunday. The Yule House was very fun to check out and brought us back some Christmas spirit. It was time to return to reality. It is busy today. It is a Saturday in Solvang and ooh, chocolate factory. Mm. <laughs> I don't know, it's like two bucks and it looks really cute. I don't know if we can bring our vicious animal on it though, our two pound vicious animal. The town was established in 1911 when a group of Danish Americans traveled here from the Midwest to set up a colony in sunny California. Initially, most of Sylvain's buildings were built in the same style as others in the area. The Lutheran Church was the first to be based on Danish architecture and bears a close relationship to Danish equivalents. But after World War II, interest grew in a concept of a Danish village. We stopped in at the Copenhagen Sausage Garden and we were looking for some traditional food and boy did we get it. Lines are long but the service is fast. We're going to do the sausage sample. We're going to get some German and Danish sausages and a um, pepper You can order different sausages and beer from a few different countries. You order your food at the front and take a number and sit at a large picnic style table with others. Be growing up their horses. So across California, you have all the missions. This is Saint Ines here in the town of Slovank, which is about 20 minutes away from Santa Barbara. Santa Inez Mission, founded in 1804 here in Solvang, was the 19th of 21st California missions established by the Franciscan Fathers during the 18th and early 19th centuries. Still an active parish today, you can stop in to learn a little bit about the history, check out the gift shop, or stop in to pray. Beautiful. We weren't able to get the tour because there was a wedding, unfortunately. It's Solvang, not Slovank. Every typical tourist location around the world, Christy and McKenna got sucked in to last minute shopping. It was time to leave this beautiful town of Slovang and hop on the freeway to return this RV in LA. So here's the RV that we got in LA. We basically dropped off the other one. They're checking it in. And then she's gonna hand over the keys for this one. 
This is a little bit larger of a vehicle. There's a room in the back. Uh, we're kind of running short on time, so I don't know if we're going to be able to spend the night, but hopefully we will. We were able to get the other vehicle for $9 a day because they're going to actually relocate it here to LA. They're actually cleaned it up and fixed it up so they can sell it. And now this vehicle, that one that needs to go back to Phoenix, is also a relocation vehicle. This one was a little bit more expensive. It was $30 a day. We only rented it for two days. They're also giving us a thousand free miles on this one. The other one had 1,500 miles. In total cost, both vehicles for five days, actually six days, it will turn out to be $250 and 2,500 miles for free of driving. So really, really happy with this experience. Highly, highly recommend it. If you have the time, come and rent with these guys. Next week on McKenna's Travels, we're going to take an airboat tour to see some snappy friends and eat some alligator along with some other interesting amphibians and be transported to McKenna's favorite place in the whole entire world. Thank you for watching our channel and please subscribe, leave a comment below and ring the bell for our next video notification. We'll see you next weekend, guys.